Hello friends. Today we will discuss about GST, Goods and Services Tax. But before that, we need to know what is the tax. Tax is the money which is paid to the government. It is imposed on your income, business profit, cost of goods and services, and the transactions, so that the government can use this money in public interest and to pay off the national debts. There are actually two type of taxes. One is direct tax and other is indirect. The direct tax is whose liability cannot be shifted to someone else, like corporate tax, income tax, wealth tax, etc. But indirect tax is the tax whose liability can be shifted to someone else. It is central exercise tax, sales tax, services tax, etc. Here, the point of interest is indirect taxes because. GST will replace all indirect taxes, which includes excise duty, service tax, additional duty of custom, VAT, sales tax, central sales tax, entertainment tax, luxury tax, etc. So the question is, how GST is different from the current taxation system in India? I'll explain this with a simple example. Consider a simplified tax rate of 10% at each level. There are generally four levels: manufacturer, distributor, wholesaler, and retailer. Manufacturer buys raw material, let's say of rupees fifty, and manufactures the product, which adds fifty rupees value to it. So the product becomes of hundred rupees. And for selling this product, he needs to pay ten percent tax, which is ten rupees. So the cost of product for distributor is hundred and ten rupees. The distributor add value of rupees twenty, which is nothing but his profit. So the price will become one thirty. Distributor also sells it by adding ten percent tax of rupees thirteen. So the product is of one forty three rupees now. Wholesaler follows the same pattern, and the price will become one forty three plus twenty. That is. One sixty-three and ten percent tax, which is of rupees sixteen point three, and sells it for one seventy-nine point three rupees to the retailer. Then the retailer adds twenty rupees profit, and the price will become one ninety-nine point three. The consumer buys this product from retailer by paying ten percent tax on one ninety-nine point three. That is nineteen point nine three rupees. So the final consumer price is two hundred nineteen point two three. This is how the current taxation system works in India. Now we will take the same example in GST system. Raw material of fifty rupees and the manufacturing value of rupees fifty make the product of hundred rupees. But this time the manufacturer has to pay taxes on the value added by him. Which is rupees fifty. So he pays ten percent of fifty, which is five, as tax from his profit. But the selling price will not increase, and the cost of product for distributor is hundred rupees only. Then the distributor adds twenty rupees profit, and the product becomes of hundred plus twenty, which is one twenty rupees. He pays the tax of rupees two on his profit of twenty rupees. The wholesaler buys the product for one twenty rupees and follow the same pattern, adding twenty rupees his profit, and price will become one forty, and pays the tax of rupees two on his profit of twenty rupees. Retailer buys the product for one forty rupees, add profit of twenty rupees, pays the taxes. Of two rupees on his profit of twenty rupees and raise the final consumer price to one sixty rupees. So, if the prices are compared, the product is fifty nine point two three rupees cheaper in GST system than the current system. Let's take GST in details. GST is a combination of CGST and SGST or IGST. CGST is central GST, which is paid to the central government. SGST is the state GST, which is paid to the state government. And IGST 
is the integral GST which comes in the situation when goods and services moves interstate. For example, product A is manufactured in Madhya Pradesh and sold in Uttar Pradesh. So IGST is distributed between both the states. In this case, SGST will not be collected. We will also have 5 categories in GST in India. 0% category which will apply on food grains and etc. 5% category which will apply mostly and widely used items. 12 and 18% category which will apply in the items are, which are normally used. 28% category which will apply on luxurious items. After applying GST, the cost of items will increase or decrease. So here are the some items whose cost will increase. Packaged food, jewelry, ready-made garments, mobile services, credit card services etc. And there are some items whose cost will decrease after applying GST. Home, restaurant, AC, washing machine, microwave oven, small cars and less taxes on industries. There are some items which are exempted from the GST. Alcohol for human consumption, petroleum product like crude, petrol, high speed diesel, natural gases and aviation turbine fuel. There are some taxes also which are exempted. Stamp duty, property tax, toll tax, electricity duty etc. Thank you for watching this video. Please share and like. Subscribe to Advice Tuber.